Hi, welcome. I forgot my ghost earrings. Hello, and welcome to the Crafty Cottage. My name is Tuesday. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome. I'm so happy that everybody is here today because today we are doing my October TBR. couldn't tell it is spooky season and I am so excited for spooky season I have my awesome shirt from freckle ginger blossom um, this is my sister's business and I finally have a coupon code for you guys and I'll tell you about it in just a minute I have my trick-or-treat cup I have my ghosty earrings I don't know if you can see them but I have my ghosty earrings I did my nails they're kind of bad but I did my nails I've got my spooky decorations all over my bookshelf um, and I'm very excited about it I have been excited for spooky season about the beginning of August maybe even July I just I love spooky season I love Halloween it's one of my favorite holidays and I am so excited for this time of year as I previously mentioned this shirt was made by my sister um, I don't know if you guys can see it but it is hocus pocus and it's got these cool little ripples in it um, and it is cute it is adorable I am very in love with it um, you can't see all of it because I'm sitting but um, I finally talked with her and I have a coupon code for you guys to use it is crafty is the coupon code I will link it or not link it but I will put it down in the description box for you guys crafty spelled just like my YouTube name um, and that will get you 15% off your first order from Freckle Ginger Blossom. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Well, another thing that I wanted to address before we got into the video was that one of my main things I wanted in this YouTube channel was tea and candles. And I haven't been doing that lately. Um, I've just kind of forgotten about them and haven't really put them in any of my videos because I didn't know where to put them. And I didn't want to make tea and then blah 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 because it was hot. Anyway, I am going to be bringing that back. So, tea and candles are back. Today I have um, tea that a pen pal actually sent to me. It was orange tea that I think she made. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it was orange tea. It's very delicious. Um, I'm actually almost done with it. I've been drinking it while I've been setting up for this video. Um, I figured orange was kind of a fall e type flavor, so I decided to do that one. And then for my candle, Bath & Body Works was having a sale on their candles, and I got a new fall scent. It is called Leaves. It is new. I've only lit it a couple times, but I have lit it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and light this and get into the video. So first things first. We are going to talk about last month's uh, TBR, and last month I participated in the in Becca's Bookopolathon, and that gave me six books instead of four. And you guys, that was rough. I did, however, finish most of them, and I say most of them because there's one that I didn't finish, but I did start. So in September, I had to read six books, um, and I read Hot Dog on TV, which was a blue card. Um, I gave this book three stars. I also got The Shining, which I audiobooked, and I gave that three stars, and that was set in a hotel. I have Malicious by James Patterson, and that was for a male author, and I, that I gave three stars. And then I also had Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is the fifth Harry Potter book. I have not yet finished it, but I have started it, so I am not going to be taking a punishment roll for that. Um, but this is for a YA. And then for Becca's Bookopolathon, I got um, a book about humans, which I chose The Truth About Chuck Norris, 400 Facts About the World's Greatest Human. I gave that two stars. And then my other prompt was to play a TBR game, which I played another round of my game and got Titus Picks, and he went and found Let's Pretend This Never Happened. Um, and I gave that book five stars. It is the funniest book I've ever read. You all need to go read it. It is so funny. I highly recommend it. So I 
finished and or started all of my books by this video, um, so I'm not going to be taking a punishment roll. I don't think I'm going to get Harry Potter finished by the end of September, but I am going to finish it before the end of October. So no punishment rolls. That will be great. During the month of October there are a lot of Halloween or spooky themed readathons that I am going to be participating in. I'm specifically participating in three um, and I'm going to tell you about them. Um, the first one that I am participating in actually started September 1st so I've already got a few of those prompts done um, but it is the Halloween readathon. It is from September 1st to October 31st and it is hosted by Nasia Acosta Smith. I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. That I'm yep, I'm so sorry. And it has this bingo board uh, and you just have to fill up prompts. I will link all of these announcement videos in the description box below. So if you guys would like to participate, you are more than welcome to. Um, and they explain it better than I do because it's their readathon. The second one I'm participating in is the Spoopathon, and that is from October 1st to October 31st. That is hosted by Spoopy Hall. It has this lovely graphic. You have to escape the haunted house following these prompts. Again, we'll link it down in the description box. In Spoopathon, you get to be part of a team. So I picked Ghouls Just Wanna Have Fun. I will flash our team captain up right here for you guys to see. And then I am also participating in the Sweater Weather Readathon. That's hosted by Zoe Delaney. Liv's Library and Abigail's Cup of Tea and that is from October 21st to October 27th so that one's just a week long and that one has both reading prompts and photo prompts and I will flash them up on the screen right here. All of these announcement videos will be linked down in the description box for you guys to check out um, if you are interested in participating in any of these readathons. So without further ado let's get into the first roll. We are starting right here. I shockingly finished or started all of my books so there are no punishment rolls so let's go ahead and get into roll number one. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Read. A book with your name on the front. For my first roll I landed on a red space which is a challenge and drew a challenge card and I got a book with your name on it on the front. Um, and that's part of Arnold's 2021 reading challenge and um, I have a very weird name um, and not only do I have a weird name I have a weird name that is spelled different than the normal name I guess um, so my name doesn't end in a Y it ends in an E but that doesn't matter to me right now because the book that I am choosing is Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts by Kate, gonna butcher this, hold on, Racula, Raculia, Rasalia, I don't know, it's popped up on the screen for you. <clears throat> this is a book about um, a billionaire dies and then has a scavenger hunt throughout the town for people to inherit his stuff. I guess that's what that's what I'm understanding um, but it is called Tuesday Mooney blah 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 and my name is Tuesday it is not spelled the same but I don't care because that's the best I'm gonna get I'm very excited about it the prompts that I got Tuesday Mooney talks to ghosts to fit in are from the Halloween readathon um, a book with ghosts from the sweater weather sweater weather readathon um, a format you don't typically read because I'm going to be reading the ebook version and I usually tend to stay away from those but that's the only version I can find of it so that's how I'm going to read it. Um, Spoopathon, um, a cover that features the team color. Let's get into roll number two. Four. One, two, three, four. A purple prompt. has tea or coffee in the title. For roll number two, I got a prompt and I got has tea or coffee in the title. Um, I was very excited to actually get this one because I am going to be reading um, Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Tasha Kazu Kawa Kawaguchi. 
I am butchering names today, you guys. The prompts that I got to fit for Before the Coffee Gets Cold are orange on the cover um, from Sweater Weather and um, from Halloween, a book in a series because it is the start to a series, I believe. I could not get it to work for Spoopy Haul, but we'll figure it out later. Let's go ahead and get into roll number three. Roll number three. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've gotten all of them so far. All right. Blue book. Charlotte's Web. So for roll number three, I landed on a blue space and I got Charlotte's Web. Um, I actually just got this book not that long ago. I got it from um, Books and Bites, which is a program that my local library puts on and gives books to kids. I realize I'm not a kid, but I got some of the books that they were giving out. Um, so Charlotte's Web. I got it to fit for the Halloween readathon read a book, then watch the movie. So once I finish this, I will watch the movie. For Spoopathon, I got this to fit the less than 200 pages because it has 184. Um, and then for Sweater Weather, it takes place during the fall because I've seen the movie and I'm pretty sure at some point this takes place during the fall. I can't remember when, but I'm pretty sure. If it doesn't, I will take that one off. So. Let's go ahead and get into roll number four. And our last roll, roll number four. Eight. This is a game of doubles today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another red. Set in the 80s from Avengers, from May, and it's Star-Lord's board. For roll number four, I landed on a red space and got set in the 80s, which is from Star-Lord's board in the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. Um, and I picked uh, Favorite Scary Stories of American Children because it is a spooky read and it's getting to be spooky season. So obviously I'm going to pick a scary stories book. Um, I had to dig deep to see if this was based in the 80s and I am saying yes because um, in the back of the book it tells where they got all of their stories from because this is short stories um, and a lot of them they got from the 80s so I'm saying this is set in the 80s because that's when they heard their stories so the prompts that I got this book to fit for. For Spoopathon, this book fits in Something You Fear, and as a child, this book was terrifying to me. There were a few stories that I just, I was befuzzled, and I was terrified of them. So I'm using this for Something You Fear, not necessarily now, because I know that they're just stories, but as a child, this was terrifying. For the Halloween readathon, I got this book to fit the prompts of a book of short stories and a reread of a my favorite spooky book. Rereading it because I read this when I was little and um, full of short stories. And for Sweater Weather, I am using this to fulfill the prompt of a book that was backlisted, um, which Zoe defined as any book published before 2021, and this was published in 1999, I think? which was quite a while ago. So that's what this one's gonna fit for. So obviously four books aren't going to fulfill all the prompts on all of these readathons. So I'm going to attempt to read more books than I have here on my TBR. I just want to get through these first so that I, so that I finish them for my next TBR game. The only books that I have for my TBR this month are Charlotte's Web and the favorite scary stories from American Children. Um, and then on top of that, I have Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts and um, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. Um, I'm very excited to get to all these books. Um, they're very short, I think. Um, so hopefully I will be able to get more books filled for my readathons. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post videos. And I will see you guys next Saturday.